Ripsalis pilocarpa is a jungle cactus from southeast Brazil, and I have to say I've had this growing in my house now for probably eight years. This is actually one of my earliest plants that I got, and I have to admit, when I first got this, I didn't really understand how to grow it, and I had it growing in a little bit more intense light conditions. But as you can see here, it's been growing in this like macrame holder, and I now have it in northeast facing window, which I have to say is a heck of a lot better because these are epiphytic species that are growing underneath the forest canopy, and so they don't like a lot of light. Um, if you're giving it too much light, then it will start to get a little sad on you. And uh, you wanna make sure that it's watered fairly well, but you don't have to water it so much that it actually starts to get root rot. So I have this and you can't see, but it's in a really well draining soil. So when I water it, I water it really thoroughly. And I would say I water it maybe once a week. And you can actually see this is in flower right now. The flowers do smell, but I think they're a little bit past their prime. And it does get, I think, pink berries on this particular plant, if I remember correctly. I have so many Ripsalis now that I actually don't remember what color the berries are. But um, this one's a little bit fuzzier. It kind of reminds me a little bit of an arachnid. Um, so people who are like totally grossed out by that, like don't worry, it, does, it won't come to like life on you and start crawling on your arm. But um, I had to like bring this in its, its macrame hanger because as you could see, it's kind of fleshed out and I just did not want to take this out of its hanger because it's just doing way too happy, um, or it's, it's, it is just a way too happy kind of plant. But you can see how it kind of hangs down like a pendant, which I think is absolutely stunning. I think that's part of what I like about jungle cacti is how they hang and they make really great hanging basket plants. Um, this particular one I'm fertilizing more on a quarterly basis, so with a succulent fertilizer, so like a 247 or a 347 is absolutely perfect for this plant. And like most Ripsalis, it may break off at the joint and you'll start to see like all these little roots kind of around it. So if you see these things that look a little like dried bits, those aren't necessarily like tendrils or anything like that. They are roots that will root up in soil or any kind of appropriate substrate. And, um, and I've had this for a very long time. Like I said, I'm probably going on eight years with this particular plant. It was a lot smaller when I first got it. And I've had absolutely no pest pressures whatsoever, which makes this a very hardy and resilient plant, I'd have to say.